Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I've got your pre-shuffle here. We're pretty loaded on this, so just bear with me. Um, we're, let's start you off up here. Overall energy, you do have the magician. So just like in Aries, you are taking control. You're taking the lead. You're taking your power back, and you're being and you're being in the man and you're in the manifestor seat beautiful here's the thing though aries four of swords eight of cups ten of cups so recently there was a situation that you dealt with in which you had to take a step back and try and really try and figure out what was right for you what is what where, where did you want to go what did you want to do um this is actually kind of taking me back to a reading that i did a few months ago where we were talking about you needing to decide what is right for you and and do something that might not be popular with some other people around you but ultimately it was what you needed to do all right some of you are still kind of in this energy but some of you are now in a position dealing with the effects of that i just feel like this ten of cups eight of cups four of swords energy is a past situation this is a moment where you had to take a step back and really assess what was right for you some things came up nine of swords that really ultimately um this nine of swords feels like the realization of whatever toxicity, devilish energy, codependency, uh, addiction, or whatever was plaguing you. But it seems that you have overcome it with the six of, so well, I'm sorry, six of wands here now, okay? And thus you have the change, uh, you have the inspiration. So you figured out what you needed to do, ace of wands, you took the the leap of faith, or you took that uh, that um, that direction, or you you took that on, even though you might've been feeling a little uh, last, that lack, wow, Wow. a little lack a little less than capable there may have been some people around you that were trying to make you feel like kind of a bad person because of doing this but ultimately it is the in fact the right thing to do for you with the sun and the wheel of fortune there's a lot of positive change that is coming from all of this in your life right now aries and it even seems like um uh there's more that could be manifested here there was something that i was picking up on but just as quickly as it was coming through i lost it so okay that's fine but ultimately great change is here for you right now and in the position that you're in right now you might really be realizing how much of a change this has been for you the sun the wheel of fortune especially in terms of feelings of inadequacy with the five of pentacles all right You, there may be a realization in hindsight of just how much you are you were disregarding your own self in terms of making other people happy or keeping up with certain responsibilities or anything like that all right right now what it feels like aries is the the, the responsibility you have right now is to that is mainly to yourself and that's not a bad thing because when you do that when you honor the relationship for yourself then you are in a better position to be to honor the relationships or the commitments you've made with others okay all right aries that's beautiful so let's get into the rest of this here and see what else we have for you for the month okie dokie here we go Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Aries, five shuffles. Let's get into this. One. Two. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May. 2020, that was three. This is four. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And five. All right, Aries, let's cut the deck and see what we've got for you. Boop. Overall energy. Oh, there's that five of pentacles again. You know, this might be 
a period in your life right now where you're really focusing on hindsight. I just feel like a lot of what's what you're focused on right now are energies from the past. So you probably made a pretty big change to your life so far, um, took a big leap of faith, moved in a brand new direction or something like that. And now that the energies from that change are starting to settle a little bit, you have a moment to look back and find understanding in the retrospect, okay? Underneath the Five of Pentacles is, yes, indeed, you have the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're taking a lot of what's happened to you in the past and really processing it, really putting it into um, a compartmentalized view so that you have a greater understanding of what transpired in the past. So also so that you don't have to recreate it in the future, right? Underneath the Ten of Swords is the Nine of cups you have reached a level of satisfaction in terms of the destruction or negativity you have risen out of underneath the nine of cups is justice aries beautiful beautiful i love it i love it so much this is really freaking awesome aries all right cool let's get into the rest of this here for you first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here aries you have the Page of Swords, yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, this is the inquisitive energy. This is the energy that's going to go into a certain situation and pick it apart in order to weed out the facts, in order to get the information, the, the value, the substance, the sustenance, the meat from the situation. Okay, this is the Page of Swords, is the, is the inquisitive one, is the sentry, is the scout, is the spy, is the individual that goes and looks for the facts. And that's what I feel like you're doing right now. Aries, this kind of feels like a major life review uh, of up until here uh, the, the, your life either your whole life or a certain period of your life up and until this moment or it could be this was a, a period from your life in the past that you were never really able <clears throat> never really able to process and now you're processing that and there's a lot of satisfaction that i feel that you're finding in the in the contrast between whatever this was for you in the past and where you find yourself now that's beautiful Page of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Cups. Yes, uh, uh, not Pisces, sorry, Aries. This is all in terms of self-love. This is all, be you're, the reason why you're able to even look at things this way right now is because you are in an energy of loving yourself, honoring yourself more. Wanting to give more to yourself than maybe you have in the past. This is all in service of cultivating greater self-love for you also. It's like you've caught the self-love self bug and now you're just obsessed with it. It's not a bad thing. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading here. Beautiful. Strength. A newfound sense of strength within yourself. Um, a belief in yourself also. This is also the strength to stand up to any sort of opposition. Again, a lot of this feels like a retrospect hindsight type energy. Strength is coupled with the Page of Cups. Wow, okay, so also having the strength to stand up for your dreams or having the strength to move forward with what it is you truly desire, being even in a, in a space where you can now even perceive of what it is you truly dream having the strength to stand up to stand up for and face your dreams so that you can actively make them into a reality with that magician that man, master manifester energy that came out in your pre-shuffle your challenge in the first half of your reading here aries the six of pentacles reciprocity I feel like there was a lack of reciprocity that you were dealing with in the past. And so now I kind of feel like, okay, well, there is a question here of how do we generate or cultivate more reciprocity moving forward? Now that you're coming out of this space of feeling inadequate, less than confident in yourself, now you can actually decide or figure out, put a plan in action in terms of how you're going to cultivate reciprocity in your life. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Stability, foundation, holding on to your finances, being frugal, and whether this is your finances or your energy, just 
being frugal, not really giving away unless you understand that it's going to be a, re a reciprocal situation or unless it's something you really want to give to. I'm just feeling this energy of not really giving unless you're sure or well aware that it is going to be of benefit, not just to them, but also to you as well whether they actually give something back to you or not. There is, a, at least there's some sort of exchange that's happening here, Physic, like maybe they don't give you anything physically or monetarily, but energetically or something like that, like a bartering system or something like that. As long as it's a balanced situation, I don't feel like you'll be giving into it. Or at least you'll, you'll, there, you'll be going through a strong vetting process before you actually give to a certain situation. And that's not a bad thing. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries. In your first first half of your reading here, you have, there you go. There, you, there it is right there, the seven of wands. Those are the boundaries. Those are the boundaries between you and a situation. Whether it's going to give back to you or not, that's yet to be decided. And, and thus, until, until that's understood, there will be, the boundaries will be held. Seven of wands is coupled with a high priestess. You've really learned here, Pisces. Uh, gosh, I keep wanting to call you Pisces. I'm so sorry. I just did the Pisces reading. But you're, you've really learned a major lesson here, Aries. A major lesson in boundaries. There is a reason why boundaries, excuse me, boundaries are kept. You might have strong Pisces placement in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with someone that's a Pisces. Excuse me, guys, I'm so sorry, but Pisces also can have an, a, 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 a problem with boundaries. Aries can too. Definitely Aries can too, but also so Pisces might. You might want to watch the Pisces reading. It might resonate with you. Hmm. Okay, second set or, or second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. We've got, oh, the Queen of Cups. Beautiful. Emotional stability, emotional foundation, understanding your emotions, being in a very compassionate energy. That's beautiful. I really do feel like you're, to a certain extent, Aries, you're really embodying this, a, this Queen of Cups energy, but it really has a lot to do for you. It feels a lot like emotional stability and awareness which is good queen of cups is coupled with the nine of wands so there's an, a level of energy of um uh perseverance there might actually be something that you really want emotionally that you haven't quite achieved yet but see with the queen of cups energy here part of this process towards to toward getting this nine of wands is to understand your emotions and get those in check and get those in tandem or work in tandem with your emotions and also your intuition so part of getting that process of getting moving closer towards what it is you want, climbing the, the ladder or the step ladder or the staircase towards what it is you want is getting your emotions in check. And part of getting your emotions in check was making was taking some sort of um, action in the past to better serve yourself. Good. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading, we have the Ace of Swords, the truth, understanding, knowledge, acceptance, awareness. Standing firm in what you know is true for yourself and even for others, especially if you were in a position to enable others in the past. You're not doing that any longer, I feel like. It's very good. Ace of Swords is coupled with the Four of Cups. There might be some people around you that have been trying to make you feel bad for, for making some move or moving, going somewhere, doing something new, whatnot, whatever, but the truth of knowledge cuts straight through that. The truth of the situation cuts straight through that. So if there's been any sort of energy of someone coming at you saying you abandoned me, you, you or there was like some sort of unrequited love, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, Queen of Cups, it's like, um, actually, no, I know what the truth is. And I know what I'm doing is right for me. It feels right for me. So I'm just going to have to do that. So even if you were the, in the position of, of like, oh my God, I was rejected. My love was unrequited, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you see through that now. The wisdom has been gained from the situation. Challenge here for you, Aries. In the second half of your reading, wow, we go to the Five of Cups now. All right. 
so there's a little bit of mourning a little bit of a mourning period again though i feel like these are people external to you something that you may have left behind or moved forward from you're having to deal with other people's emotions while you're sitting here in your emotional well-being and you're having to deal with the emotions and the bemoaning the crying the 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 ranting the raving the the victim mentality of other people five of cups is coupled with the knight of cups compassion but also these are people if you have people around you that are um really putting on the waterworks for you really putting on the hard sell this is really only for their emotional gain their emotional well-being it's not coming from a place of much emotional maturity whomever is in this queen of cups energy is way more emotionally mature or is handling this better on an emotional level than someone else and honestly, Aries, whomever this is, whether this is you, Aries, or the other person, whomever is in this Five of Cups, Knight of Cups energy, this really emotionally selfish type energy, you can't stop that. You can't help them. They have to do it on their own. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the second half of... Wow, there you go, the tower. Uh, Aries, I really just feel like you are standing your ground here. In terms of this the tower is striking other people's realities you are standing firm in your new reality the tower is coupled with wow the hierophant and this is giving me an energy of teaching and learning learning through the contrast even it's like okay well i've learned enough here i've learned my lesson i'm moving forward there's also a level of social conformity and social norms societal norms family norms ancestral norms all that kind of stuff that's breaking down right now and uh, and aries you're definitely trailblazing there i mean it doesn't make any that doesn't surprise me you're a trailblazer naturally you know you're the first sign of the zodiac you are the original trailblazer Zodiacs, uh, 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 um, you know, it, in terms of the Zodiac here. Breaking, a re breaking free from the mold, breaking free, creating change. This is a beautiful thing, Aries. It's kind of what you're meant for is what I'm hearing. <laughs> so cool. All right. Let's, get you, let's close this out for you here, and then I'm going to go into your love reading, which is available on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations, or you can find the link in the description box below. Yeah. All right, Aries, closing message. Oops, uh, that's enough. We'll leave it there. Closing message for you. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May. Possibility. Woo! All right, Aries. Overall energy, we have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Beautiful. And then the two cards that came out for you, the first is possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. And then also you have strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. Look for the silver lining here. All right. All right, Aries. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to get into your love reading next. You can find that on Patreon. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.